Long before our first official reunion, our family has always been united. However, in 1994, we had our first official reunion and our t-shirt tradition began. What does this t-shirt mean? Why do we wear them? It's more than another memory of a reunion and it's not just a souvenir to take home. These t-shirts represent our unity. We may have family resemblance, but these t-shirts make us all look alike. Remember 2002, that hot summer banquet? It was 16 years ago. How about that Hawaiian breakfast in summer of 2008? And the blue t-shirts of 2010. Do you remember strolling around Washington DC in 2012? Or sitting on the steps of City Hall in 2014? How about Charleston, South Carolina in 2016? All such great times. No matter what t-shirt we wear, we're bound together in unity, representing all of our family members of past, present, and the future to come. Between now and our next reunion, pull out your old family reunion t-shirts and wear them with pride. Know that there is family near and far cut from the same cloth and we're bound together by love, prayers, and memories we'll hold dear for years to come. Uh, I think the one of the best memories I had was when we went bowling in 2008. Um, it was, I think, the second night of uh, one of my first family reunions, and it was just a good time. I met a lot of people for the first time. Uh, I was under 21, which wasn't as much fun, so I watched everybody else had way more fun than me. <laughs> 2012 Washington, D.C. family reunion really stands out. I think it was almost probably one of the largest. It was the first time that the reunion had been held outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. And um, we had a little over 100 people who came to D.C. to participate. I think one of the things that really encouraged people to come was the fact that we were able to take a bus, a load of people, to the White House. 2014 is my favorite. And I kind of remember that's when we had a lot of our people. A lot of people still around. Uh, I remember memories. Uh, my Uncle Richard, Aunt Teresa, and some folks that are no longer with us. Uh, I remember those days, and it was just nice seeing family. Uh, so when you talk about the, the memories, the memories are the people that you do in the past that are no longer with us. Hi, I'm Beverly Moore, and I will never forget in 2010, the most memorable was Miss Helen. Miss Helen always told me, she said, Beverly, she said, I know you're not a Moore and you're married to the Moore family, but I feel like you've always been a Moore and I love you more and more and I will never forget Miss Helen for the rest of my days of my life. She's always treated me like I was one of her dogs. Shonda, I'm June's granddaughter and I just like to say my favorite moment was 2014 when we were downtown and the band was playing and we got to dance and shake a little bit. <laughs> Left. I remember one time I think it was our third reunion here in Wilmington, North Carolina and we had so many family members we had to take two shots one on the left to the center and one from the center to the right and as a result we had to kind of cut and paste them together to show the entire family that was her i think that was my wife's birthday yeah. Yeah. her son then gave her a two bigger a roll this 
And everybody had a wonderful time. Hi, this is Melissa. My most memorable family reunion moment was when everyone came to my hometown, Charleston, South Carolina, uh, in 2016, and we all had a blast. I cooked, I had food, food, food galore, crabs, shrimp, everything, frogmore, stool, Charleston, red rice, everything. Everybody had a blast. They loved it. And we just had a great old time Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, and my favorite memory was Charleston. Um, it was mom's 95th birthday. And, and the entire family got up and sang happy birthday to mom and you should have seen the tears strolling down her eyes. She pointed out, she said, it might have been the happiest moment of my life. And because it was her happiest moment, it might have been my happiest moment too. The best part of the family reunion was, I think it was 2016, when we were fixing crabs and the crab legs, where the crab legs, the crabs were not ready. And then they took all the crabs and we took them back to the hotel pool and everybody got in trouble by Aunt Jerry the next day. <laughs> Hello family. My name is Pauline Elizabeth Bunny Moore Green. I'm the youngest daughter of Clayton and Pauline Moore Williams. This is our eighth family reunion. Let us celebrate this time together. While we celebrate, let us celebrate fond memories of the past. And let us embrace future endeavors as well. We always have good food, fun, and festivities. So today, let's continue with our family tradition. And may God bless all of you. Good evening, everyone. I'm glad to see y'all smiling face again. My name is Clayton Moore. My father named Clayton Moore. My mother's name was Pauline Moore Williams. So I'm so glad to see y'all. So y'all sit back, relax, and smile, and keep that smile on your face now. Let you know I was the first boy born for my father. My father celebrated getting cold liquor away. So God bless all of y'all. I hope to see y'all next family reunion. Bye. See you in 2020 with one more t-shirt to add to the books. But for now, let's celebrate. Yay! Everyone say 2018! 2018!